bet you're just as batshit as the rest of us. <laughs> Sister, you hit shit. the nail yeah. on the head with that. Welcome back, everybody. We are here to do episode five TV reaction to HBO's Watchmen. This episode is titled A Little Fear of Lightning. So let's get into it. I would like to send my apologies to my viewers for the last video. I know the editing was not the best, but hopefully, this video will be better. Okay, we're pressing play now. Day clock standing at one minute till midnight. Hello, King, 1985. So we done been, we done went back then. Okay. I had to remember what time we was in. Okay, so before I dive too deep into episode 5, let me do a very quick recap of what happened in the previous episode. 3 and 4 basically developed for us viewers the character of Agent Blake. Okay, so Homegirl got a very big crush on Dr. Manhattan. Her crush kind of tilts over into obsession, seeing that she carries around a very particular object with her at all times. It's not sexy. <laughs> But in a nutshell, 3 and 4 was just a basic explanation of the backstory of Chief Judd and what really was going on with him, his identity, the old man, the granddaddy, he's still alive, some way, somehow, over there with Lady True, and we have old girl Angela, Sister Knight, finding out little breadcrumbs here and there of all of this. So now, let's get back to episode. The real world can be so scary for a sheltered Christian child. I know firsthand, trust me. <laughs> Why do I feel yeah, such a bad feeling uh, for this kid? Tulsa. He doesn't know any better. He's just a Christian boy. This is where the sinners are. Can I be with you there? Jeez. You really think it's up? Are you afraid of this me? This is freaking me out. I don't like House of Mirrors. <laughs> no, no, ma'am. Well, what are you afraid of? House of Mirrors, I just told you. Filthy, dumb sinner, and now you get what you deserve. Here I am feeling sorry for him, and I should be feeling sorry for the young lady. Oh, my goodness. What is wrong? Oh, he has some type of power. Oh. Well, he didn't do anything. She just embarrassed you by taking your clothes. In his mind, did he break all the ice, the, the glass? I'm lost. Did the doomsday clock happen or did he make that happen? And why won't he put on any clothes? Oh. What happened? That's what we're trying to figure out, hon. What happened? So, oh shit! Is that from truck? It's my truck. I made the mistake only because I was just trying to figure out what connection did the movie have to the TV series, and I see it really doesn't have any. But I can't help but be inclined to think that maybe, just maybe. Agent Blake is a previous lover of Dr. Manhattan, and that's why she communicated again. Obsessed. Mm. What is the logic with these masks? She already knows who they are, and without the mask, but they steady go in her office masked up, but then they partially well, unmasked side. with one another it just identity is critical to our safety. that part well, of this is really of starting to irritate me because no i can't way. understand the whole method just, behind that, that madness let me see those sad and once they let you yahoos put masks on you have an excuse to wrap your entire head and reflect the team fine boy guaranteed protection from psychic blasts ergo 
You sleep great. Mm. Market research. Safe cover. So you watch a bunch of idiots and they tell you what they hate about the new flavor of Pringles and <laughs> no one knows you're secretly mirror guy? I know you know it's looking glass. But you can have mirror guy. If you want. <laughs> Oh, his name is Looking Glass. Okay. Oh, I, Thanks for coming by. I got so used there to people is. saying he looked like a mirror. <laughs> That's how come she... I knew it was something about her and how she what knew everything. She bugging the, the hell out of him. At least she's honest she to let them know. Yeah, I was listening to your conversation you. and ask questions. What about those yeah, pills, so sir? <laughs> well, that's one way to stop it. Yeah. Did I do it right? What does that mean? It's not brain surgery. You just hit the big button in the shelter and the goddamn siren shuts off. Of course. I'm happy to schedule a technician to provide an in-home tutorial. I do not need a tutorial. I've conducted over 500 drills on this unit. You it's tell. It's a machine that's malfunctioning. Not that's big, right. So you need to replace it. Uh, sir, I'm sorry. Boom. Now where is your warranty, sir? Because <laughs> everything needs to be covered by a warranty. So why do you keep getting mixed up with the ones that are just Did we have to see... The scene with the puppy. Was that? For seven years, I tried to convince you that I wasn't going to run off with your clothes and leave you naked all the time. Oh, that's him. I would have never, I would have never made that connection that the Christian kid was a younger version of Looking Glass. Well, that explains a lot of his trauma mm -hmm. and a lot about his personality. So she called this like a glass full of I mean, Snow White, you're still in the tunnel. I bet you're just as batshit as the rest of us. <laughs> Sister, you hit the nail wrong. on the head with that one. Sadly, there's no way to settle that bet until we can assess your trauma relative to mine. Maybe you can share Touché, I guess. She is going to the I'm not coming back Tuesday. white night <laughs> trauma meetings. Okay. Fair I'm assuming that this episode is entirely to break down the character of Looking Glass, but it also explains kind of what happened on White Night and how it affected not only the police force, but everybody, which was some type of dimensional psychic blast that gave quite a few people nightmares. Of course they hated it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so am I assuming that Adrian's character is basically trying to jump time zones or jump portals dimensions he's trying to jump dimensions with a contraption that looks like an 1800s diving suit okay again I don't know the purpose of watching this old man but seeing him catapult himself to the moon was pretty cool nice scene Oh, that's where he's been shooting his butler and maid. So all these dead clones are on the moon. Wow. This keeps getting deeper and deeper. I knew it was going to be a set up against Angela. I knew it. I called it. I'll link below to that reaction. Go check it out. Episode 3 and 4. I called it set up. Is he about to get killed? Because I just feel like we've seen a whole 50 minutes of him looking glass. Something's going to happen to him. I know I'm going to be able to do the whole episode, but let's watch just a little bit of episode 6. Was your idea to put on that mask because this is getting interesting and I feel like I'm leaving off with questions that I need answers to. Episode 6. Captain Axis. This extraordinary being. Captain Metropolis. A.K. Nelson Gardner. Captain Metropolis? Fairy oh. Princess. Was it? He's got a safe behind the painting. I think the they mentioned him in the movie. Boudoir. Now, in that safe is a roll of film. Jerry, you want to tell him what's on that film? Oh, they got the film of him with that guy? <gasps> that 
That's right. Your boyfriend's got other boyfriends. Oh my God. And he's trying to blackmail Director Hoover just because he bears a passing resemblance to the fella Captain Big Cockalus is violating on that film. A fella who is not Director Hoover because Director Hoover is not a depraved homosexual. So you're going to bring us that film and we're going to rip up the photo we're about to take of you. Why should I trust you? Because Jerry wow. I'm not sure to anybody. Hell, nobody even knows How did, you right now. Well, they didn't this get so rid of it because fast forward, looking goes watching the same thing. So, and her granddaddy got dementia, though. <sighs> Maybe them pills something else. Especially if we talking about cuckoo lady true. I think the purpose of this too is for her to actually see what happened to her granddaddy through his eyes since she took his nostalgia pills. I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, I guess it is a thing in this universe with the Watchmen. But she's going through his memory, so at least she get to learn his past. Because... She ain't too fond of him. Okay, I'm just saying. Auntie, okay, you guys, we're going to wrap it up there. We will continue and pick back up with episode six, This Extraordinary Bean, in the next video. Don't forget to comment below your thoughts on so far, halfway through the season of HBO's Watchmen. How do you like it? Is you really feeling it? What's going on? What is your also theories on so far what is happening with Angela and with her grandfather as well as Looking Glass and the connection with Captain somebody. I forgot his name. But leave it down below. Make sure you guys subscribe also to help us get to our goal of 500. Like this video for your girl so I can be promoted on the YT. Until then, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.